there's quite a few sections in here that'll have X'd out areas and, and question marks because it's data we're still flushing out because it's not 100% planned yet, it's still a draft format. And any inputs you can receive from your constituents or from the community or from yourself, we honor that and we'll put in a plan the best we can. If you have any questions, we have the answer. If not, that's, that's the gist of it. Thank you very much. Mr. Telly, thank you. Yes, sir. Anyone else have uh, any comments about the plan? Chairman of the Second Public Hearing is American Tower Corporation has submitted an application for the various and Lee County Code of Ordinances uh, for itself. <coughs> Any discussion? All right, maybe it's Mr. Chairman, the first report for departmental matters is the planning department. I'd like to call Mr. Allen to go forward and present this report. The, the first item that we have is um, um, a moratorium for signs for the the existing sign ordinance needs to be uh, reviewed and updated. Uh, current court cases require that the existing sign ordinance be modified so the ordinance better reflects uh, the Lee, Lee County and the cities of Leesburg and Smithville uh, comprehensive plan. Uh, we do have an attached resolution here, <coughs> and we're recommending a 60-day board on these signs so that we, we can work with uh, RC, um, specifically uh, um, Paul Forby, in coming up with a new sign ordinance. Um, this was discussed at the Leesburg uh, City Council earlier this month, and they have um, um, put a 60 day moratorium on their sign ordinance so that we can uh, pursue this uh, change. Thank you, Bob. <coughs> if there's no questions, I'll go to the next one. <coughs> okay, that's uh, uh, we 
we received from Oxford Construction a um, proposal to do uh, a section of Pinewood Road from State Route 32 to Broadwood Road. As you recall, that was uh, a resurfacing project that was in um, our um, uh, Splash 5 uh, program for, for this year. Um, Oxford Construction is currently doing another section of Pinewood Road and um, uh, Palima Road under a, a stimulus package through uh, the Georgia Department of Transportation. The proposal that uh, we have here uh, indicates that <coughs> the cost are, unit cost prices are the same or less than what the uh, unit cost prices were for the grid that uh, Oxford did for, uh, um, Oxford Construction did for the Georgia Department of Transportation. Um, so this is an excellent uh, price. Uh, and it also is um, within the uh, budget that we have in Splash 5. Uh, the estimated contract cost would be uh, $103,994.90. The budgeted amount that we had in Splash 5 was $127,000. Okay, so we have a motion State bid requirements kick in at a hundred thousand dollar project. I noticed this was ninety six. Uh, if you take out uh, some shoulder work or something, yes. And so you may be under that requirement. I just have to look at it and make sure that we have that. So we're spending splash money to complete the remainder of the road. <coughs> statute which talks about uh, public road contracts and or public contracts that uh, a lot of requirements on that kicks in with the contract exceeds a hundred thousand dollars. If this one doesn't see, exceed a hundred then we may be okay. I just I, I look at it and see if we all make do the vote. Thanks sir. If there's no more questions the, the last item that we have is just the uh, Planning Commission minutes for February 16th. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. <coughs> Chairman, Commissioners, like Thomas Watkins before, he has a bid on your agenda tonight. Uh, this would be uh, Ambulance from uh, the House of the Smithville uh, EMS and Fire Station. <coughs> January 26th, we sent out some invitations to bid on an ambulance for Smithfield Station. We sent out to six vendors. On March the 1st, we opened up the bids. We got the responses, but only one bid. And that's a beach stadium that you see on your, uh, on your paperwork there. Um, we had a similar problem last time we bought an ambulance where we didn't, we didn't get very much response. Uh, I think we only had a couple of bids in. Uh, then. And then speaking with some of the vendors, they're like they're trying to sit and submit bids because they're always outbid by each state, and that's who submitted the only bid we got this time. <coughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know what the answer is, but these people they go to the trouble submitting the bids and then they never awarded the bid. But each state so far is always outbid. All the other vendors that we've ever sent one to, and we've bought probably our last seven ounces. Six hamlets in front of each state over the last five years. So they submitted a bid of 107900 and uh, $107,908 for the 